Your aura ring or your smartwatch, it says your blood oxygen is 95% and you got two hours of deep sleep last night. Sounds great, right? But how accurate is that really? Let's get to the facts. Smartwatches, rings, straps, none of these are medical grade. They don't actually measure brain waves. Instead, they use accelerometers or motion sensors to track how much you move and photoplethysmography or PPG, a light-based technique that reads your pulse through your skin. So how do they even know if you are asleep, let alone an REM sleep or deep sleep? They don't. What they actually do is look at patterns. Are you still, is your heart rate low and steady? That's probably deep sleep. Are you moving and twitching and your heart rate is spiking? That's probably REM sleep. Just algorithms and best guesses. The accuracy for detecting deep sleep, it's only 50%. That's like flipping a coin. It's better at detecting REM sleep Oh, about 82%. How about oxygen? These variables use reflectance oximetry. It bounces light off your skin to estimate your oxygen levels. Medical grade pulse oximeters use transmittance oximetry, and that is far more accurate. The accuracy levels of medical oximeters is within 2% wearables. Their margin of error can be as high as 7%. It's good for wellness not for diagnosis. If your wearable flags that you have sleep apnea, however, don't ignore it. Those algorithms are accurate to about 98.5% specificity, which means if it says you have sleep apnea, you probably do. But if it doesn't flag it, the sensitivity is only 66%, meaning you may have significant sleep apnea and it may miss it in one in three cases. So the bottom line is use your wearable as a rough guide, not a diagnosis. Track smart sleep better.